guys I'm back I apologize it's been a long time since I actually do or upload a video I have my reasons um, <coughs> something that bad pretty happened uh, something bad happened <coughs> and um, I am recovering so anyway my last load I was headed to Grand Junction Colorado and of course I had did some previous ones before that um, Long story short, I have made a video that I was going to Caledonia, New York to drop off a, a, an RV up there. <clears throat> I had a little situation, so I started feeling ill. I did not know the extent of it till maybe about a week, uh, maybe about a week ago. So anyway, on the 15th, when I was in Caledonia, New York, I started getting sick, felt this chest pain anywhere. I just ignored, just kept on moving on, just kept on doing what I gotta do. Did a couple of more trips. <clears throat> and then um, I would say about 20 minutes, 20 minutes before I get to my destination in Colorado, um, I did like a little pre-trip inspection. <clears throat> and then I started coughing up blood. I say it again. I started coughing up blood. That's when I literally started went to a holy crap phase and holy crap mode. Um, anyway, I called my my um, <coughs> my PCP, my primary care, my primary care provider. <coughs> they told me some things what to do. They told me to go to the British room immediately. Immediately. So anyway, me being stubborn. Dropped that load off. I went straight home because of my son's graduation and some other things. But um, I did not. I ended up not going to my son's graduation because I was in the hospital from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Monday. Oh, Jesus Christ, Tuesday. I was in the hospital for about six days. Yeah, I was in the hospital for about six days. So anyway... When I went to go to the hospital, when I did the CAT scan, I had multiple blood clots in my lungs, in both my lungs. I had multiple blood clots. Um, they were like, we're gonna have to admit you, we're gonna have to get you on some blood thinners. You have um, pulmonary embolism and, and oh, holy crap. <clears throat> so I was actually a lot sicker than I actually thought it was. Luckily, thank God, uh, according to the nurses and some doctors, they were really shocked, nonetheless, to say that luckily it didn't stop in my heart. I would have had a heart attack. Luckily, it didn't stop in my brain somewhere. Then I would have had a stroke. Or God knows what else this was. So I ended up in the hospital for a few days because of my negligence, me being stubborn, me not being uh, looking out after myself. So right now the doctors and nurses are thinking, because I've never had a history of blood clots, my, myself or my family. So I think it was, to be honest, the long periods of sitting and just driving, um, I'm not saying that 100% caused it. It's just that's what the doctors are thinking because I'm not. I've never had it before. Uh, I've never had uh, my parents, my family, my cousins never had it before. So um, yeah, started coughing up blood. Took it seriously. Went to the emergency room. Multiple. I mean, multiple blood clots, and especially in my right lung. <laughs> there was this one section that was blocked off and it was like about this size or a little bit bigger than a golf ball so um yeah buddy so this what this video is about is go out there hustle do what you gotta do work by all means push whatever you can push but at the same time too everybody's different everybody's physique is different but everybody's body is made differently um, I have never had this problem, but on your brakes, walk around, 
um, to help the situation um, during the pre-trip or whatever walk around as much as you can move around readjust yourself in the truck if need be as much as possible when you go to the gas station just try not to just sit there you know get gas and, and get back in there and move around walk inside <clears throat> take a little break so according to like some doctors and nurses I was really 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 lucky really lucky so um till this day I got out the hospital yesterday wait um I got the I got at the hospital two days ago and I'm doing some <laughs> I'm doing some loads in in Texas picking up in Texas and dropping off in Texas um my wife thinks I'm nuts um I'm just stubborn I guess but I'm also I'm also medi medication that does not alter my 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 driving abilities that's why I have my son with me to kind of monitor me. <clears throat> um, I always have my water. It's somewhere around here. So I'm always staying hydrated. So um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I'm pretty quick about uh, uh, commenting. At least I think I am. I just haven't been because I was in the hospital. I was in bad, bad shape. So that's what this video is about. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Not only just the truck. Not only just the equipment. You ain't gonna be moving. You can't be moving none of that stuff if you're not in good physical health. Blood clots in my lungs. I would have never thought about that in a million years. I'm more subject and prone to kidney stones and freaking anything else. And here I am with blood clots in my lungs. So, um, wow, I dodged a... Uh, Man, I dodged the bullet on that one. You know, thank God. So, uh, whew. hopefully the next video is pretty much a lot better. Right now, I just came from Claiborne, Texas, and I'm about to drop this one up in Hewitt. And then I pick one up in Hewitt to get a Conroe. And then from Conroe, Texas, I pick one up going to Orange, Texas. So, um, ah, Lord have mercy Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, leave me a comment, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Man. Stay safe. Look out after yourself. All right. Peace out.